Welcome to the Electronic Church of God, Arizona, and the Lord's Care Ministry. Today is the third work day of the week that we should call a Tuesday. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. A year to search for knowledge and truth. Day 31 of the 2012. It's the last day of January, by the way. It's sure the year sure going fast, isn't it? Today's study is, do you see your calling? Do you see your calling? Brethren, I suggest that you write the chapter and verses down that would give you so that you can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. You can use the pause button down here in the corner, brethren, to start and stop this video study as we go along so you can retrieve your own Bible, open up and read the chapter and verse right along with us. Get much more out of it by doing it that way. Okay, let's get right on over into, do you see your calling? Romans chapter 1 and verse 1. Separated to the gospel of God. Our calling is not primarily to be holy men and women, but to be proclaimers of the gospel of God. The one important thing is, that the gospel of God should be recognized as the abiding reality. Reality is not human goodness or holiness or heaven or hell. It is redemption. The need to perceive this is the most vital need of the Christian worker today. As workers, we have to get used to the revelation that the redemption is the only reality. Personal holiness is an effect of redemption, not the cause of it. If we place our faith in human goodness, we will go under when testing comes. Paul did not say that he separated himself in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 15, but when it pleased God, who separated me? Paul was not overly interested in his own character. As long as our eyes are focused on our personal holiness, we will never even get close to the full reality of redemption. Christian workers fail because they place their desire for their own holiness above the desire to know God. Do not ask me to be confronted with the strong reality of redemption on behalf of the filth of human life surrounding me today. What I want is anything God can do for me is to make me more desirable in my own eyes. To talk that way is a sign that reality of the gospel of God has not begun to touch me. There is no reckless abandon to God that in that God cannot deliver me while my interest is merely on my own character. Paul was not conscious of himself. He was recklessly abandoned, totally surrendered, and separated by God for one purpose, to proclaim the gospel of God. See Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Touch me, O Lord to discern your will and faithfully and diligently perform it, that is my life may be to your glory. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14 we read, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that is needing not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Redemption ground. Psalms chapter 11 and verse 9. He sent redemption unto his people. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men. That make void the word of God. Is that what you do by following the tradition of men? 
by changing the Lord's Sabbath from the seventh day to the first day. That's the tradition of men. You won't find any place in the Bible where that is condoned by Jesus Christ or any of his apostles. Do you honor the Christmas and the Easter and the Halloweens and the New Year's as we proclaim it and the Lent and etc. that is tradition of men, not the tradition of God. Brethren, start following Leviticus 23. All except the blood sacrifices for Christ was our blood sacrifice. Brethren, if you want to see the kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and Jesus Christ, get down on your knees and repent. Repent from following the tradition of men. Ask to the Father and the Son to come within you. Drive away all doubt. Strengthen your faith. And follow the way of the Lord, the way of God. Make that your life. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter he sent to you, that love letter that is found throughout your whole Holy Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.